The FBI is absolutely taking advantage of the fact, and this is how they profile people. This is how they pick people to, it's the people who have the most to lose. They find your weakness and they say, okay, you know, we know of everybody in your crew. You're the single mom. You know, Tess has a husband who could take care of her kids. You know, the other ones would probably do some time. They're young, single guys. Um, and you're the single mom in the group. You're an easy target. You care. There's nobody to take care of your child if something happens to you. So that raises the stakes for her, and she's kind of the easy target for them. I didn't think I would ever do television again, to be quite honest. I, you know, I've done. I started in television. I went to films. I love doing movies. Started my recording career. Done a ton of albums, and I've I've been in that world for for years and years and years. When I started producing television. Um, this came across my desk and it was such a strong piece of material. It didn't even matter that it was television. Um, because right now, to me, the best movies are on TV. Television is, is so phenomenal. The bar is set so high for TV that you can really do amazing things. The best stories right now, the best roles, which is why a lot of actors are coming to television. Um, and this was no different. This was just something, it, it just was one of those things where you just go, I don't, I don't want to pass this opportunity up to be able to play this complicated, complex character um, who has so much heart and there's so, many, so much stakes. There's just, there's just so much there as an actor that's attractive about this part. There are shades to what is what right and wrong. It's like right and wrong, and then in between is like a thousand million pieces of different scenarios and things and choices and all kinds of, I mean, it's just, it's life, you know? And I think as complicated as it gets for Harley, as much as, like a lot of great characters on TV and in film, there's times when you're gonna love her and you're gonna hate her because she's real. And, but you're always gonna somehow understand her. And I think that's because we all make choices sometimes that we think are the right choice, that may seem like the wrong choice, that we may not be proud of in the moment, but we know is our only way out, which is only the only thing that we have left to do because we're in a corner, because there's no other way, because you have to, it just, it goes on and on and on, the reasons, the rationalizations, the justifications, but at the end of the day, I think people are mostly good, and Harley's mostly good, and she wants to be a good cop, and she's just in a really bad position. Yeah, I think that's what's great about television is that you do get to kind of flush out a character over many, many episodes and you go through so many colors. Um, whereas in like a two hour movie, it's just like one thing that happens. And yes, a, a character can change, but it happens in two hours. And sometimes that's a bit tad unbelievable, right? Which is why great movies are so few and far between. But with television, you actually have time to really see them develop and go through things and change and so many things happen. It's just, it's a different, it's a different medium and it's, it, it's really great for an actor. This show was really about doing something that I felt was great and worthy. You know what I mean? The, to, to show a slice of life, to show the struggle that we have as human beings.